I would never fall in love. Oh, do you not realize how bad you're fucking up right now? Seriously. He is trying all he can to show you that he loves you and that he's there for you. Trying to be your shoulder to cry on through all your overthinking and your crazy moments. And you're pushing him away. For what? He is so rare to come by. Guys who actually give a fuck are so rare to come by. And you're just pushing this one away. Like he's nothing. Why? Everybody I know, they always ask, where are the good guys at? Hun, he's right in front of you. Don't fuck it up. If you love him like you tell him you do, then fucking show it. Don't keep pushing him aside. Because all that's going to do is make him think that he's not appreciated. It's just going to show him that no matter what he does, it's not going to its not gonna matter. Because he's going to get played. That's when you create fuckboys. Don't fucking ruin a good guy because you're too selfish to realize it. I just need time. No text, I understand. No calls, I understand. No time for me, I understand. But when you see me with someone else, I hope you understand. <laughs> I don't feel so good. You're alright. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. What's happening. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir. Please, please. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Please, Bo. Don't put that thing up on my face. Don't put me to talk. I love you! Where? What? Show me! Where is this love? I... I can't see it. I can't touch it. I can't feel it. I can hear it. I can hear some words, but I can't do anything with your easy words. Whatever you say, it's too late. Please, don't do this! Don. When you talk to someone for days and have the best conversations with them, even if it was just small talk, talking them made your whole day. And then one day, they just act like you don't even exist. And you're left trying to figure out what you did wrong. 
and then you doubt yourself every time. Nearly got fucking everything! Did you know that if gravity were slightly more powerful, the universe would collapse into a ball? I did not. Also, if gravity were slightly less powerful, the universe would fly apart and there'd be no stars or planets. Where are you going with this, Sheldon? It's just that gravity is precisely as strong as it needs to be. And if the ratio of the electromagnetic force to the strong force wasn't 1%, life wouldn't exist. What are the odds that would happen all by itself? Why are you trying to convince me to believe in God? You don't believe in God. I don't, but the precision of the universe at least makes it logical to conclude there's a creator. <sighs> Baby, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But logic is here. And my problem is here. Well, there are five billion people on this planet and you're the perfect mom for me. What are the odds of that? Broke up over a year ago. Watching you marry another woman isn't exactly something I was looking forward to. I don't know, I, I just thought if I ever changed my mind about marriage and kids, it was, it was nice to know that you were there. So I was your safety school, a flattering. No, that, that's not it, it's just that... Why are you bringing any of this up? There, there's nothing between us anymore. Well, maybe there is. I, I mean, of course there is. That kind of stuff just doesn't disappear without a trace. We both moved on and, and, and look, we got what we wanted. I'm getting married, you got your dream job in Tokyo. And they all lived happily ever... Job. I'm moving back to New York. I want to come back to my real life. And I think you should go back to yours. What's that supposed to mean? Don't get married. I love Stella. She's the one. If you really feel that way. I guess it's a good thing you're not coming to the wedding after all. Did you ever love me? How can you even ask that? Just tell me the truth! Oh, what? Did you ever love I me? I don't know! Thank you for finally telling me. I'm done. You don't have to worry anymore. What do you mean? I'm done trying to get you. I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry it's taken me this long to figure it out, but I promise I'm done making a fool of myself. How long have you been hung up on Robin? Eight years? And you're still killing yourself to fetch dumb little trinkets for her. That's crazy. That's more than crazy. I don't think there's a word for what that is. Actually, there is a word for that. It's love. I'm in love with her, okay? If you're looking for the word that means caring about someone beyond all rationality and wanting them to have everything they want, no matter how much it destroys you, it's love. And when you love someone, you just, you, you don't stop, ever. Even when people roll their eyes or call you crazy, even then, especially then, you just, you don't give up. Because if I could give up, if I could just, you know, take the whole world's advice and, and move on and find someone else, that wouldn't be love, that would be... That would be some other disposable thing that is not worth fighting for. But that, that is not what this is. You all right? Ray. Hmm? I said, are you all right? I'm fine. Hey, talk to me. Whatever you say to me in confidence is between us, you know that, right? I don't have anything to tell you.
why God made your girl leave you. Because he wanted to show you that you ain't shit. He wanted to show you that you are human and you're fallible and that you're very replaceable. So he decided to make you fall in love with a girl and he decided to make her leave you. Now it is your job to look at the board, understand what's happened, say, I understand God, I deserve that. I'm glad she left me and I'm sad because I am a dickhead. And do something about it. Every single man out here, if you're upset that your girl's leaving you, God is reminding you that you aren't worth shit. You need to get up and work so hard that even in the eyes of God, he is proud of you. God loves his creation but show him their true potential and beauty by getting up and trying your absolute best he will reward you and bless you endlessly so God just broke your heart on purpose to show you that the way you're living your life and the man you are simply are not good enough what have you changed since? on her and my 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 friends they express that to me they said like, yo dad you're spending a lot of time with her man like what about us like we were there for you before she ever existed you know? and i was like oh guys but i love 